and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PUDO at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, I'm going to be going over what you want to be doing first with the new Series 4 update, guys. There's tons of stuff to do. Series 4 update is almost overwhelming. Now, you want to do a lot of this stuff as quickly as possible because we do have zero chill probably coming i believe monday so you want to get a lot of this stuff done because it is friday so you have about two to three days max to get all this stuff done before zero chill starts and everything just starts coming all at once and then everything becomes a little too overwhelming for everyone so there's tons of stuff there's a new master if you guys didn't rewatch my 10:30 content video that should have kept you guys updated i'd recommend watching that and then watching this but even if not we have tons of stuff we got the master we got new trophies we got new solo challenges we got new packs we got new pack odds we got new rewards, new max about level, new power passes, so many things to go over, guys. So much stuff, so many things to go over first. But what do we do first? I'm gonna tell you guys the order in which I'm doing my stuff and what I'd recommend personally. Because if you guys follow this order that I'm gonna give you, you can end up with a 95 overall player, a 94 overall player, a 92 overall player, and a 93 overall player, I believe. If that's the exact order properly. You're gonna end up with all that stuff. You can do it all within one singular day. Now, guys, before we get into this video, don't forget it is the 25 days of food miss. All you gotta do to enter the giveaway is a few simple things. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word and your console, and like the video. Once you do all those things, you are entered to win. Very simple. Good luck to all you who enter. I will be sending secret words sometime throughout the middle of this video, so stay tuned for that and just comment down below. You guys, you guys will know when it happens. Now, first things first. What am I doing? I recommend the first thing you want to do is come over to challenges. And you're gonna to wanna to go play the Gauntlet 2 solos. Now, why would I pick in the Gauntlet 2 solos first? First off, it's gonna help you level up. The XP is gonna help you level up a little bit here. This is not the way to level up. There's a better way to level up. I'm probably making a video for you guys going over the fastest ways to level up probably tomorrow. But the fast way to level up is not this. But you might as well do this first. If you do this last, then it's not gonna to count towards your XP because you're already be leveled up. So the milestones, this was important. You get a 78 plus and a 78 plus. That could be an elite player, that could be a full legend, that could be an NFL 100. I'm not entirely sure what it will be, but it could be any any of the above. Now, 12,000 coins, cool. 78, 78 plus, again, could be elites. 18,000 coins, it's pretty decent coin rewards. A G2 upgrade token, that token's important. Now, that token right there can be used to upgrade your past gauntlet players from the, five, the past gauntlet. Now, I'll show you guys all that after I get through these rewards, and I'll show you guys why that's important. And then at tier 8, you get the gauntlet 2 fantasy pack. You're going to want to get those two things right there. Tier 7, tier 8, those are going to be your 92 overall player and your 93 overall player. I'll explain all that in just a second. Then you get more coins, an 83 plus overall player pack, and an expert gauntlet token. Now you want to be collecting these tokens so when they do the gauntlet master set, you're going to be able to get your master right away. Now let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So the reason you want to go to tier to the 75 stars and 100 stars to get the G2 upgrade is for this reason alone. So if you guys don't remember, the first gauntlet that we did get released was we got the Ed Oliver, we got the Leonard Fournette, the Juju Smith-Schuster, the Devin White. Now those cards right there, they're probably not as usable anymore. Now, that G2 upgrade token does allow us to upgrade these cards. So, to show you guys what I mean, look, you all the way to the right, toss the Gauntlet 2 token in, now he's 92 overall. Now, prior, they were 89, so you get a plus 3 overall increase, which is really huge, because most players on our teams right now probably are in this range. Now, who's the best one? I will be probably ranking these at some point for you guys. I'd imagine Devin White's probably the best overall option. I'm not entirely sure. I do not think it's Ed Oliver. He's got decent athleticism, but for 92 overall, bad, bad power move. Bad block shed. Definitely not him. Although he is a decent overall for my team, I do not believe that is the move. But as you guys can see, if you have Devin White, Juju Smith, you want to increase your receivers, increase your middle linebackers, get a good four. Now you can do any of the above. I might have just stick with that Oliver because I think he does fit the bill for the position that I currently need, which is defensive tackle. It's kind of the only position on my team that I haven't really bought yet. Now, I'm going to go show you guys the other options too. So you also could take Derwin James, which is probably a pretty solid option also. I'll probably end up sticking with Ed Oliver. Now, Gauntlet 2 Exchange. Obviously, this is what I'm showing you guys, but look at the players. You have Emmanuel, Jared Cook, Marshianda, Terrell Suggs, and Xavier Rhodes. This is the other option you get. Now, this is the other card you can choose from the Gauntlet 2 that just came out. So, you're going to have one of these 92s you're going to get. I believe these are 93s or 92s already. So, you're going to be able to see these cards right here. You can get whatever one you want. I'll probably end up ranking those for you guys in another video today, too, when I do the Gauntlet Reward video. But that's kind of what you want to do. You want to be sprinting to get these done as quickly as possible. You're going to get two free players here. And then once you're done with that, you want to start the level up grind. That's a must. You have to start the level up grind. The level up grind is important for multiple reasons. First off, the rewards you get are the best rewards you've probably gotten on level up just yet. So level one, you get an 88 overall player. That's I see Aaron Donald right there. I'd recommend you take Aaron Donald. You power him up. There you go. Solid card. You could also sell. Oh, you could take the platinum card. 
You can either take Aaron Donald or you can take the Platinum card. I imagine the Platinum Quick Sell on this card. I don't know what the Platinum Quick Sell will be for this one, but if it is like an 87 overall, 86 overall, it's going to be very, very expensive. And I definitely need the coins. Next, a Game Changer pack. A bunch of Redux got introduced into packs. Game Changer pack is probably one of the best overall pack options for a chance at a Redux player. Level 73, we got a Tory Holt upgrade. So now our Tory Holt is upgrading an overall. Definitely very important. 74, 40k coin quick sell, another important pack, easy quick coins. 93 to 94 overall power pass is what we're getting at 75. To me, that's a free NFL 100 player. I'll probably use that to get my Deion Sanders. That's me personally how I'm going to go on this. That's solid. Like, you can't argue with the fact that, and, and you could do this all in one day. I promise you guys, at the end of today, I more than likely will be max level 80. I have gauntlet done. So, pretty much, I'm going to get three. I'm getting a bunch of free players. Then we get at 80, uh, 76, we get a 89 overall legend fantasy pack. And not a legend fantasy pack that you bought the store, like literally a fantasy pack full of legends. Which is quick word for today's video is elf. All you gotta do is enter and go down below, comment the word elf, comment your console, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. I want you to do all those things you are entered to win. Good luck. Cool, but I'll probably more than likely end up taking the quick sell again because I do definitely need the coins. Another game changer pack, which again gives us a great chance at Redux cards, another Tory Holt upgrade token, and 40k coin quick sell, and then you get another power pass. And this is a 95, which is pretty cool because we have no 95 cards in the game besides the new series Master Brandon Cooks. So my Mike plan of attack, I'll probably end up powering Brandon Cooks and tossing that onto Brandon Cooks for the time being. Have a cool 95 receiver. And then once they actually drop 95 overall cards into the game, I'll probably end up putting that on them. Now, I think the NFL 100 cards tonight, the tight ends and the linemen will probably introduce 95s. I'll probably save this power pass for the new 95 receivers next week. Or just wait until they drop some other cool stuff, like maybe an NFL 100 quarterback that I might want. I'd definitely probably take one Lamar. But it's always good to at least think about it, right? But that pretty much wraps up the level up right now. Guys, pretty much the way you level up grind this year, you play the same solo over and over again for about seven hours, and you plan on repeat, and you keep repeating the challenge. It's very simple. I'll make a video going over in depth. I do have some videos on my channel if you guys want to check those out in regards to leveling up, but if you don't, I'll make an updated one probably tomorrow if there is time for the videos, you know. Have a busy schedule videos to get done next guys like i said the next thing you want to do is definitely start grinding out your trophies now as far as grinding out trophies i recommend you want to be going for this brandon cooks i haven't been a fan of the melvin i wasn't a fan of the Devin cordy but this brandon cooks is different he has above 90 catching above 90 route running and above not and a 95 speed powered up unreal unreal card gonna be like a 96 overall 97 overall fully powered up and chemmed up great great receiver i think he's amazing he's pretty much tyree kill he's tyree kill that with if tyree kill and randy moss had a child this would be them this is the love child of them i'm telling you you want to go with brandon cooks i'm telling you brandon cooks is a solid solid card probably gonna be the best receiver in the game right about now to be quite honest with you now the only thing i heard was i heard his acceleration's a little bit low but i could care less he's a beast beastly card and he can actually route run, so he's going to feel like an actual receiver on the field. He's not going to feel like Devin Hester, who's just like a, it's like a brick. You just If you get it to him, he, he's a brick that if he actually gets the ball in his hands, he becomes like the flash. But if he doesn't catch the ball, he's just a brick. So definitely worried about that. Next, John Madden, obviously. I think I'm going to wait on John Madden for now because I definitely want the Brandon Cooks first. Now, the quickest way to get that done, guys, is just go play some seasons or house rules. If they do drop the house rules this Tuesday, it could be a great chance to get wins if they do actually make it eligible for wins. But other than that, you want to just be getting the series for multiplayer wins. If you complete this whole list, it's like an easy close to a thousand right there. It's not hard to do. I promise you, if you just spam seasons, you get a ton of coins, ton of trophies, tons of rewards, and you get these trophies, you can easily surpass a thousand. I also have a little almost 400 head start right there, which really isn't that bad. Now, once you have all that done, I'd recommend you go through your binder. If you guys do remember, we do have plenty of house rule, old, old house rule rewards like free month superstars and a bunch of nat cards that we might be stuck with. Now, this is where the exchange set comes in handy. They did finally drop a useful exchange set with a 91 to 92. And you can exchange 89 to 90 overalls for 91 to 92 overalls. So this is great for people who still have their much superstars here. Like Gilmore, I don't use. And I did have a Demarcus Lawrence, but I ended up quick selling him because I needed training. But it would have been good to keep him. If you have like him, another guy, maybe one other nat that you don't want to use anymore, you could toss him all into here. And you could essentially end up with a 91 to 92 overall player that is auctionable. So it's a good way to make coins on old nat cards that you might have. Now, I wish I could do that. I did accidentally, not accidentally, I, I purposely did it. But would have been, it would have been smart of me not to do so. Now, the final thing. Like I said, if you're really feeling up to it, you could go ahead and you could get your expert tokens now. Now, the expert tokens are important because when the time does come for the Master Gauntlet set to be out, you're going to want your, these expert tokens, which is all the way at the bottom. Now, to get the expert token, I do believe you have to get almost five stars, if not five stars in every single solo. It's going to take quite a while, but I mean, pretty much in one straight run, I can knock out the Gauntlet on five stars almost easily. 
it's gonna be like there's always like four to five to six solos that I, I had to complete on like three or four so they were too hard and they were too time consuming but the expert token is important because when they do release the gauntlet three with the expert token you will get like a master 95 96 overall player so you definitely want to have this ready nothing's gonna be worse than when it comes out in the game in like series five and nobody's ready for it and you're gonna have to go play all the three gauntlets again and get all those stars done and you're not gonna to to get your card right away it's gonna definitely suck so i recommend you guys get this done as quickly as possible now i think i wrapped up everything first is gauntlet the g2 upgrade token and the gauntlet expert token or the gauntlet fantasy pack then you want to go straight for the level up grind get your reward get your power pass i will have a power pass video for you guys later today so stay tuned for that and then your exchange set and then getting your rest of your extra tokens if you didn't do so already. Now, guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, it is the 25 Days of Pudmas. All you gotta do is enter, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, like the video, and comment down below your, uh, your console. Oh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below your console, and the secret word you heard throughout this video. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.